you have already seen the transition and you are right i'm gonna make this engaging door opening transition of band tk i'll make this door opening transition from the console of band tk ground and eye transitions which i made a couple of years ago you can find these tutorials links down in the description and this tutorial will be a little longer as i'll try my best to make you understand everything in detail here are two clips on the timeline both of the clips are moving forward over the ground i would recommend you try to use similar clips if i try to animate a windows of a high rise building i would choose the same clip like a drone footage now i move the time indicator to the last frame of the video if you pay attention you see the door is in the center of the frame and i didn't zoom in the door a lot before cutting the end of the portion of this clip that is why this animation will be engaging now right click on this footage and select insert frame hold segment now I'm gonna make the duration of this whole frame around 1 second. Now I'll take the razor tool and make a cut in this position. Now get back and select the selection tool. After that it is necessary to delete the unnecessary portions from the timeline. Now drag the image to the second track by holding down the alter key on the keyboard to make it duplicate. Make sure that upper layer image is highlighted. Now move over to the effect controls. Under opacity we have 3 options here. As I want complete freedom so I'm gonna take the pen tool. And heading to the program monitor to make the marks easy, I'm gonna double click here to change the size of this program monitor. We also can change the zoom level. Now we can draw marks easily around the door as it is just a freeze frame. Now it is done, we are getting back to our regular layout. Well, it is time to change the marks feather value to zero. Delete the under layer image which is not essential right now. If you have a look at the program monitor, you will notice there is only the door in the program monitor. Now we are dragging this door to the fast track by holding down the alter key on the keyboard to make it duplicate. Highlight the upper layer then click on inverted to visible another part of this image. If I hide and unhide both of the tracks, then you will see bottom layer is the door. It should be the door as I am going to open the door inside the house. Now right click on this image and select next. You can rename it as I'm lazy so I'm just hit ok. Now heading to the effects and searching for the basic 3D. After I find out the basic 3D effects, we can drag this basic 3D effects over to the timeline and apply to this nested layer. Now go to the effect controls and drag the time indicator to the first frame. Now click on stopwatch of swivel to add a keyframe at the first frame. Then move the time indicator forward around 20 frames based on 25 frame sequence. Now click on this icon to add another keyframe here. We had to set keyframe of position and scale in this position. Now click on this icon to drag the time indicator at the first frame. Then set keyframe of position and scale at the first frame. Now it is necessary to change the second keyframe swivel value to around negative 80. Then the door sweeps in the center. It is not possible to sweep the door from the left or right. This is the limitation of Premiere Pro but we have alternative options by using position and scale. Now click on this icon and select transparent cigarette so it will be easy for us to make this animation. So when you move the time indicator then we can see at the program monitor that the door is sweeps. In the center. Now go to the last keyframe and move the door to the left by changing the X value of the position. Now we can change the zoom level of this program monitor so it will be easy for us to make this animation. Well now to make this animation better I have to set the scale value of the last keyframe. I am gonna set it to around 90. Now I am trying to adjust the X value of the position. Here is an issue, we have to solve this problem. So I am gonna add a keyframe of rotation just here. Then move the time indicator to the first frame to add a keyframe of rotation here. Then go to the last keyframe of the rotation and make its value 1. Well now it looks better right now. We can again adjust the X value of the position so the door moves to the left. Now we have to ease in all of the last keyframes and after that we have to ease out all of the beginning keyframes. When the door is opening, it moves to the left a little bit. It looks good but if you wanna make it better then you can set a couple of keyframes of position and scale and change the value of those keyframes when it requires. If it is not enough, you wanna make this animation the best, you should try this in After Effects. Good news for you, I'll make this door opening transition in After Effects in near the future. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it, just move the time indicator and add a keyframe where it requires and then change its value. Make and repeat, have a look at program monitor, if needs change then do it, it's totally up to you.
our animation is done now i'm gonna share you some important thing is i need to set a marker right here between the clips and the freeze frame as i'm gonna nest all of the clips so i can identify the joining point of the clip by this marker i used to nest only the freeze frame in my earlier tutorials but it is 2022 i wanna make it better than previous in this case i wanna start the zoom in from the video clip just before the marker now hit the m key on the keyboard to add a marker in this position now select all of the clips then right click any of the selected clip and select next you can name it but i'll not do it right now just hit ok now again move to the effects and searching for the transform effect when you find out this effect just apply this effect to this nested video layer now i'm moving the time indicator just before the marker then i'm heading over to the effect controls on this position under the transform effect i'll add a couple of keyframes of position and scale then I move the time indicator forward around 20 frames and add a couple of keyframes of position and scale. Now you can uncheck this to get natural motion blur effect and the value of the shutter angle you can make it 180. Now go to the last keyframe of the scale and increase its value to zoom in the door and if needs change the position of the door. Now move the time indicator to the left and right to see the animation that we have done. Now we can inactive our shutter angle after complete the animation we will reactive again. Now I am gonna expand the curve line or velocity by clicking on this arrow icon. Then ease out all of the beginning keyframes and ease in all of the ending keyframes. For a smooth zoom in I have to customize this curve line so select this influence handle then drag this influence handle straight to the right and select this influence handle and drag this influence handle to the right too to make this kind of smooth curve if it requires you can change the position of the beginning keyframes to change the zoom in position of this animation Now we can reactive the shutter angle and make its maximum value 360 to get more natural motion blur. It is too heavy effect for my system so I have to pre-render this video. Before that I have to play the second clip under that layer the first clip where I start the zoom in. Now go to the sequence and click on render into out to start pre-rendering. And this is our animation that we have made. It looks good but I wanna make it better so I wanna delete some extra portion from this video. So let's find out the right point to make a cut. I think this point is the right point. So I'm gonna take the razor tool and make a cut here and delete this extra unnecessary portion. So I'm gonna do it same thing here and delete this extra portion that we will not use. Now I'll show the variation what would happen if I didn't customize the curve line. Now I'm gonna highlight both of the clips and drag them to the right by holding down the alter key on the keyboard to make them duplicate. Now select this video layer, go to the effects and make the beginning keyframes is out and ending keyframes is in. Now we can play the video if you pay attention carefully you'll notice the variation in both animations. In the first animation it is going forward through the opening door so smoothly cause I customized the velocity and in the second animation it increases the speed instant where I only did is out and is in which doesn't look smooth. Now we are at the end part of the tutorial. In this portion I'm gonna show you how you can reverse the animation. To reverse this video you have to select the all footage then right click any of the selected footage and select next then hit ok after that again right click on this footage go to the speed and duration then click on reverse speed then hit ok now render the video for preview i hope guys you really enjoyed this tutorial i try my best to make you understand everything in detail how to make this kind of interesting transition you can watch my other interesting tutorials on my channel i'll be back in the next tutorial till then goodbye